We're excited to be in the situation we're finally in. I mean, it's been a long seven months coming. Uh, been a lot of recruiting, a lot of uh, work behind the scenes by everybody. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to see the team play Saturday. I mean, it's uh, they've worked extremely hard, had a great camp, uh, light years ahead of where we were in the spring. Uh, you know, we um, are excited to line up against an opponent and, you know, see where the uh, chips fall, you can say. And, you know, going up there against Montana State, obviously everybody knows, great program. They're very well coached. Um, but we're excited about this opportunity because I've said this many times before, um, they are exactly where we want to get back to. We, we want to be back uh, at the top of the country uh, just like they, they have been. And uh, this should be a great challenge for us. Okay, we're going to open up for questions in the room and then we'll get to Zoom. So in the room, questions? Um, what do you know about their injuries? Obviously, their running back won't play. They have a lot of new guys on the offensive line. Is there anything new you're going to expect from them because of that? No, I, I mean, I, you know, I think they're, uh, like I said, they're, they're very well coached. they got some uh, great players. Uh, now, they, they've got four players from a year ago that are on NFL rosters somewhere right now. So that's, uh, that, those are, you know, big, big challenges to fill those holes. I, I get that. But um, they, they, they got depth, you know, the, and, um, you know, they got on defense uh, a handful of returning starters. Uh, some on offense, definitely the quarterback, who's a great, great football player. Um, but they've got a lot of guys that are, this might be their first time starting that played a lot. They played a lot last year and a, and a lot through their, their uh, national championship uh, game run. So um, they got a lot of experience, even though they might be young in some areas. Um, I know the running back is, is still recovering from an injury. It doesn't sound like he's going to be playing. Um, quarterback's back and healthy. That's that's a that's a big bonus for them. He's a good football player. But um, no, we we kind of expect them to be who they are. I mean, that, that helped them get to the national championship game. I know they got a new defense coordinator, but um, you know they 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 got the same structure on on at Montana State that um, Garza implemented here. So uh, should be very similar. And oh, this is somebody else asking. <laughs> What about Tommy as far as a quarterback goes? What, what are some of the things he kind of brings as challenges to you? Well, he's a winner. You can tell about that by watching him play. Um, you know, he, he can make uh, plays with his legs. He extends plays with his legs. Um, and he's done a great job of, of putting the football in the air to some of his playmakers. You know, uh, I know they lost their, their big time receiver from a year ago, but they've got a, a grad transfer in there now that um, is probably going to fill that, that role. Uh, so, you know, he, he's just, um, he, he, he places the ball where it needs to be and uh, gives his, his uh, teammates a chance to make those plays. But he's dangerous. You know, he can take it the distance. Uh, there's, there's plenty of clips of him going 70 yards, you know. So we got to do a great job containing him, keeping him in front of us. They did a lot like you guys did, hit the transfer portal to kind of fill those holes that they're missing. Uh, did you run across any of them during the transfer stuff or uh, you guys you were after? Uh, just maybe a little bit here and there. Uh, so Kobe Duru, you know, yeah. our receiver, he was signed by them uh, out of high school and uh, obviously left there, went to San Diego State. And, uh, you know, Kobe had mentioned, yeah, I spoke to those guys when I was, when I was speaking to you guys. So I uh, didn't know about it at the time. Um, but, you know, not, not really. I mean, we're, <laughs> seems like we're on different sides of the country, you know. <laughs> so. Is, uh, his teammate from San Diego State. Yeah. Or, yeah, he's playing in the running, running back. Running back. He's going to be a starting running back. Yep. Did he give you any insight on him? I uh, just said he's a good player, pretty shifty guy, you know, so we don't, we don't really have any film on him or anything like that. But it uh, sounds like they're going to be um, running back by committee a little bit until their, their guy gets back, um, which, you know, in college football, most programs are that way now anyway. You can't survive an entire season with just one or two guys, you know, so um, we expect to see several running backs Saturday night. Final touch-ups this week. What have you seen out of your team this week leading up to Saturday's game? I'll tell you what, we had a, we had a camp day yesterday because it was about 100 degrees outside. And uh, so we had to have our uh, our, our wet bulb halftime where we, we watered them up again. But, um, you know, I, I thought we had a good week of practice. I really did. I thought um, Tuesday, you know, you could tell there's there's some excitement in, in the building again. Like it's the first day of camp. And they're excited that we've got you know a chance to go play somebody else besides each other. Um, yesterday was very businesslike, but I thought they worked extremely hard, which is um, you know a good sign. And then uh, you know today we got to go out there and have another polished practice, and um, and then travel well. You know we're going to have some 30 plus guys who have never flown, and probably <laughs> most of the teams never been to Montana. So we got to make sure this is not a um, oh it's going to be fun. It's a vacation trip. It's not. It, yeah, it's a business trip that we want to make fun after we get done with business, right? But um, we got to make sure they're locked in and focused. And we've even talked to them about here's how we act 
on the plane. Here's how we act in the hotel. We have meetings set at this time. This is where you're staying. This is where you're sitting. I mean, pretty much everything because it's going to be new to so many. Um, but, you know, I, I trust our leadership. You know, we, we've got a good group of seniors that have uh, bought in and understand the importance of keeping everybody focused. A couple weeks ago, you talked about the importance of the transfers because of that, their experience. How have they kind of helped leading into this first road trip for a lot of guys? Yeah, no, uh, uh, Ahmad, um, our linebacker has been, he's awesome. You know, I mean, he's, um, here's a young man who, who grew up uh, as a kid on the sidelines of the Baltimore Ravens. His dad played in several Super Bowls, and so he, he gets the football world, but he's been such a, a, a breath of fresh air talking to the team, talking about, hey, look, you know, I know y'all think this is cool, but look, we got to stay focused, and, and this is what needs to be done, and here's why. I mean, so really, he's been a, a really good mentor to some of our, our freshmen. Um, but, you know, we got, we got him. Um, you, you know, we got uh, Marcus, you know, Mickey over the running back, who's a, a grad senior that's traveled and played in some big games. So um, even though there's a lot of new players here, a lot of them do have some pretty good experience and, and played big-time football and know the expectations. Monday you said Cam will be starting the first series, but you kind of hinted at Knox getting some time as well. Do you have any refined plans? Well, I'll tell you. Um, it, it's been a good week, but um, you're going to see both of them. You're going, to be, you're going to see both of them, and uh, <laughs> I don't know which one of them will start the game right now. Um, uh, they, they both have had a really good week, and like, like I've said all along, both of them bring something different to the table. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, uh, they're, they're making it a tough call right now. Cause I can tell you, Knox has had a really, really good week. Okay, anybody on Zoom have anything for Coach? I do. Um, first of all, hi, Coach. My name is Alex Eshelman. I'm uh, with ABC Fox Montana here in Bozeman. Really excited to have you guys here in Montana, especially being that uh, that most of your team hasn't been to the <laughs> state. Have you made it, made it to Montana? I have not. I have not, you know, and, and, you know, my wife's going and she's talking about, well, it's going to be a beautiful state. Can't wait to get up there. And I say, hey, stop talking to me about that. I don't care. I want to go up there and, and play a great football game. But, uh, no, I, I know it's a beautiful area. Uh, Y'all have got a great game day atmosphere up there. Um, and, and college football up there has been very, very dominant. So um, we're excited. Coach, go ahead. Go ahead, y'all. My, my last question for you, Coach, is just, um, you know, the story behind Jack, I'm going to mispronounce his last name. Do you, how do you pronounce his last name? It starts with a Z. Zelensky. Yes. Um, it, you know, his incredible story of overcoming Hodgkin's lymphoma um, this past year. Can you talk a little bit about what an inspiration he's been to your program so far this season? Yeah, you know, um, he was diagnosed with that, I think, maybe my first week on the job here. It was, it was pretty quick. Um, you know, so he came in and spoke to me. I had a meeting with him and his family and, uh, you know, what, what horrible news to get as a young man and for his family to get. Um, but, you know, we just kind of told him, hey, look, you tell us what you need from us. You're always part of this team. We're here for you. But realizing he was traveling a good bit, doing his chemo and everything, and he would check in or his dad would check in with me, um, you know, just about every other week, let me know how things were going. But to see him come back in, in camp and uh, he's, he's done with it and uh, he, he wants to be back part of the football team so bad, and he is, he's a big part of the team. He's not quite recovered enough to be as physical and as strong and as big as he needs to be to, to get back on the old line. But he's with us at practice every day. He's, he's, um, you know, he's helping us coaches every day on the sideline. Uh, so it's been a blessing to have him back and in, involved with us. And it kind of gives everybody a good uh, dose of reality from time to time. When we're feeling sorry for ourselves because it's 120 degrees out there, and uh, then, then we got a lightning delay that pops up, and we're going to practice you know, later tonight, and all this adversity that's thrown our way. Um, it, it's, it's refreshing to kind of see a young man who's uh, beat the odds and has a great, great attitude about it and is so happy to be a part of the program. So um, he, he's a big part of the team. Will he be at the game uh, this Saturday or no? He will. Will he be playing? Sorry. No, 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 no. Probably not. No, he, he's uh, more than likely he'll, he'll take a medical year here. Um, you know, and, and, and maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he uh, gains some – you know, some strength and gets back to his old ways at, towards the end of the year. You, you never know. But as of right now, we're, we're kind of taking it day by day and uh, kind of leaving that up to him as far as when he feels like he's ready. Hey, Coach. Here, here's a, here's a, uh, the, 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 first, the first week kind of standard question. Um, you have tape on Montana State because their coaching staff is in place. 
you've got 58 odd new players, a uh, whole new staff, whole new system. Talk about the advantages or disadvantages. You have tape on what they did last year, but they don't really have tape on you, and they're probably going back to Valdosta State to try to figure your system out. Well, I was about to say that. Um, you know, we, we do have tape on them, obviously, and they've got tape on us. I, I know they've got every game from our, our season last year. Um, and I know they've broken that down. They have to, right? Um, everybody would do the same thing. I also know that, uh, you know, Garz has got a lot of close friends, you know, still around here in the community. So I'm not naive enough to know that you know, there's probably been people talking, um, you know. But, um, you know, it's just as big of a challenge for us on, on the offensive side of the ball because, you know, Garz is up there now as their new defense coordinator. Right, uh, he was just our DBs coach here last year, but they do have some similarities in the structure of the defense. So uh, I'll be honest, we, we've been breaking down them and McNeese State's defense from a year ago. You don't talk about strange is watching your team's defense and coming up with a game plan for them. <laughs> you know, um, you know. So I, you know, I don't know. I mean, um, the the first game is always difficult for everybody if there's any kind of coaching changes, and it doesn't matter if it's the head coach or assistant coaches. Um, you know, so I. I really don't think there's any advantages or disadvantages to, to either side right now, to be honest, because they're, they're doing the same thing we're doing, trying to, you know, do the best we can in game planning and predicting what each team's going to be doing, you know. So um, I, I kind of see it from both sides, to be honest. I'm going to buy into your statement earlier about uh, both quarterbacks will play. You're not sure uh, who's going to start just yet. Um, most coaches around the country – uh, at any level, do not like a two quarterback system. Talk a little bit about uh, your concern uh, over that, that rhythm and that tempo that you've been trying to achieve uh, all through August camp. If indeed yep. you have to go in and out with two quarterbacks. Yeah, no, I, and, and I agree with the first statement. I mean, I, 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 I want to start in quarterback, and, and he's the guy, you know. Um, you, you know, both of them missed about a week and a half of camp. You know, Cam had it, had tweaked his back, and Knox was coming back from his thumb surgery. Um, and, and you know, you look at it; they they both got one scrimmage under their belt. Um, and, and you know, be honest, we're going out there, and um, you know, one of them's doing something good, and that's driving the other one to do something, you know, good as well. So we're we're kind of sitting here going back and forth a little bit um, about you know who, who is going to rise to the top here, who is going to run away with the job. Um, I, I can't say anybody has ran away with the job right now, you know. Um, so, you know, early on, we're, we're going to play both of them. We really are. And um, it might be one guy starting this week because he's had the better week of practice, and it might be the other guy starting the next week because he's had a better week of practice. And um, it is not what I believe in, but it might be how things are done here for a little bit until somebody runs away with it. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you address what you've seen uh, on tape in regards to the physicality of, of Montana State versus – what you think uh, the physical nature of your team? Do you think it's going to be a pretty even matchup in that regard? Well, it's it's kind of the unknown for me to you know again being honest here. Um, I haven't been to you know so-called battle with my team yet, right? I mean, we scrimmed each other for the last you know practice against each other for the last month. That becomes pretty easy. I know the guy lining up across from me. He's my roommate. Uh, I know his best move. He knows mine. I'm not even worried about that anymore. But when you you take the field for the first time against an opponent. And uh, you, you learn a lot about who you are because there's a total stranger across from you lining up trying to, you know, whip your tail one play at a time. Um, so I'm anxious to see that, you know. And uh, we have had a tough physical camp. We really have. Um, I also understand we, we've got, you know, our 17 seniors that, um, you know, are good football players, but I, I, I haven't been in a game with them and seen how they responded to adversity. Our adversity here over the last two weeks has come from lightning and heat. You know, uh, so I, I'm ready to see some adversity, you know, from an opponent, and, that, and that's going to be Montana State Saturday night. And, you know, they, they don't make mistakes. They are very physical. Like I said, they got four guys that are on NFL rosters right now, um, and they're there for a reason because when you watch those guys, they jump off the film to you, you know. So um, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see how we go up there and play because, uh, again, that's exactly where we want to be. We want to be the team winning championships. We want to be the team playing – uh, for national championships and just saying that doesn't mean anything you know everybody in the country can make that statement right now um, but you know we, we talked about earning that right and putting in the hard work to get to that point and it, it starts this Saturday so um, you know are they a physical group they absolutely are absolutely they are have we had some very physical practices we have you know but um, we, we we've got to line up and be physical just like they're going to become Saturday night Pretty much had a complete 
well, a near complete roster overhaul. And a lot of these guys have not gone through uh, the two years of uh, two straight losing seasons, uh, somewhat of a, a, media, a, me, a run at mediocrity uh, for this football program. And you're going up against a team that's just coming off a national championship game. And you know what they've done the last three or four, even five years in, in Montana State. Um, th this group of guys you have, you know, do you take the chip on the shoulder approach or these guys don't know anything about the Cowboys' uh, uh, difficult last two or three seasons? Uh, do you think that plays in, you, from a mental standpoint? They're going in and saying, hey, we're at even keel. We don't know anything about what's happened in the last three years. Well, um, yeah, I'll, put, I'll put it this way. I, I tell the guys all the time that, hey, look, we're not going to make excuses and we're not going to let anybody make excuses for us. Now, I, I think the difficult last three years probably means a lot to our seniors. And uh, hats off to those young men for sticking around here and still being here and, and, and wanting to play um, and, and wanting to win. You know, so I'm, I'm excited for those guys to go out there. And do, are those seniors, do they have the chips on their shoulders? Yeah, I, I would expect they do. They, they have been through a lot. Um, you know, but, you know, I'm, I. We know we're the underdog, right? We're going to be the underdog. Probably in every game we play this year, we'll probably be the underdog just because we got a brand new staff, a brand new team, and haven't had a lot of success in the last three or four years. But um, that, that's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm more worried about how you know the Cowboys go out and play football than I am, you know, talking up a storyline about you know these guys don't respect us or you know you know how it is. And coaches get into those mind games sometimes. Um, and, you know, I, I worry about us. I worry about us day in, day out. How are we going to practice? How are we playing? Are we giving our best effort time and time again? Um, are we going to have the right mindset? Are we going to have the right attitude? Um, our values, tough attitude and discipline. You know, so, um, you know, I, yeah, they're a great program. Absolutely. Um, I know we're the underdog. Our team knows we're the underdog. We're going into a hostile environment with a, a packed out stadium. Um, but we're going to embrace the atmosphere and we're going to line up and play hard one play at a time. And uh, at the end of the game, we'll, we'll see who the better team is. And um, that, that's kind of where we're focused at right now. I'm not, um, I'm not really buying a whole lot into, you know, the, you know some, some of these mind games. I know a lot of people want to talk about it. it it's about us. And we, we want to have a chip on our shoulder every day at practice. You know, so we, we want to have the mindset of uh, being a very physical team at every rep. So um, that, that's not anything different we'd be talking up for this one game. When you sat with your staff uh, and breaking down film and, 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 uh, and the film and tape that you have on your practice, is there is there one part of this game <clears throat> from a personnel matchup that you think is going to be a bigger challenge above all others when it comes up against it, uh, Bobcat Ross? Well, it's it's going to be in the trenches, and there's no doubt about that. You know, um, you know they their D line comes off the ball. There there's some good football players. I mean, they they come off the ball and fly around. So offensive line. Uh, they've been challenged all week. You know, they they got to know that um, they, they're, they're going to be a battle for four quarters. And I think the same could be said on the other side. You know, our D-line's got to put pressure on the quarterback. He's a great, great football player that can hurt you in a lot of different ways. So um, I, I would say, you know, we're going to be able to probably look back and see the difference in the game um, is going to be up front, you know. And, and we, we got we to gotta at least, uh, you know, equalize those two areas. Anybody else have anything for Coach? Yeah, it's just one for me. Hi, the coach, uh, Victor Flores at 406 Sports uh, over here in Montana. Yeah. Um, so I first wanted to just kind of, I was wondering what stands out schematically about Montana State. Um, you know, you can maybe stick to the offense since they have a coach returning on that side, but if you want to mention the key pass too, that, that'd be great too. Yeah, I mean, offensively, they do a great job. Um, you know, they, they do a great job running, running Tommy. I mean, uh, they do a great job with that, and then they get their match up and take a shot. Uh, it seemed like that pretty much carried them all the way through the playoffs last year to the national championship game. And uh, let's be honest, if that young man doesn't get injured in the national championship game, th there could be a different outcome because he, he's that caliber of a player. Um, and, and then defensively, you know, they, they last year they just played very, very solid defense. They really didn't make any mistakes. Um, they had a defensive end that was just lights out. Um, you know, I, I know they got a young man they're high on this year, uh, kind of taking his spot over, and he's a good football player as well. Um, but they, they just didn't make any mistakes defensively. You know, they, they never gave up the deep ball, and uh, they, they tackled well. You know, so I, I think those are the first two things that stood out to us as a staff on both sides. And then the last one for me, I, and apologies if you 
uh, said this already, but just uh, if, are there any absences or inactives or guys who uh, you know are questionable, I guess, for uh, for the game on your side going into Saturday? No, not right now. I mean, start of the season, we're as healthy as a team can be. Um, so we're, we're excited about that. And that's the name of the game, right? The, the team that stays the healthiest the longest has the best shot of winning, especially throughout the course of the season. So um, you know, we got to make sure we keep ca taking care of our guys. Thanks, Coach. You bet. Anything else? All right, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Matt.